trying to find my non-rambly time, because it's time to not ramble. Let's go. Swashi so Mardell, who's a somewhat more popular YouTuber on here, made a video about not being gay enough on her second channel, and the topic really resonated with me, so I kind of wanted to talk about my own feelings about it, because they're somewhat complex, and it's, it's weird. It's just a really weird feeling. I mean, to this day, when I think about this concept of not being gay enough, I just think of, like, how ridiculous that is. To kind of talk about what not being gay enough means. There seems to be like a lot of members of the gay community that if someone does not match up exactly to what their little checklist in their mind is of what a gay person should be, then they're not gay enough to date them, be friends with them, I don't know. There's just some sort of like criteria to be in this gay label or whatever and it's just nuts. And my feelings about it are what a lot of people I feel like feel about it, which is why rate somebody on a scale of how gay they are if they identify as gay? So I mean, this is the attitude I have where like you can't really put like a spectrum on how gay someone is, even though you kind of can, but at the same time, if they assert that they are gay, then they're probably gay, which is weird because like I don't feel gay enough for certain friend groups or just like to even, I don't know, talk to some people. So it's like a really weird like cognitive dissonance that I have about this topic because I don't even know. I feel like it kind of came from like trying to figure out my own identity when I was growing up. After I came out, I didn't really know what being gay meant. I just knew it meant that I liked guys and I had really like no other gay people to help me through that to figure out if my identity meant that I didn't have to be different in every other aspect of my life or if the fact that I was just attracted to men meant that I was gay and nothing else had to be different about me. So because my friends were mostly straight during high school and because they seemed to have their own perception of what gay people are, I kind of just went off of what they were telling me about gay people. Gay people are supposed to like this, and gay people are supposed to do that, so maybe you should like these too. And I'm like, okay, I guess since that's what gay people do. I had a friend who made me watch a lot of musicals because, you know, apparently gay people like musicals, which I mean, I like them, but I mean, like, am I crazy about them? I can take them or leave them. But after I grew into my identity and kind of figured out what being gay meant to me, I kind of started breaking away from that and just kind of doing whatever I wanted to do. But now that I'm somewhat older and have seen a little more of what the gay community has had to offer in this realm of not being gay enough, I noticed that there's like some weird sides to it and there are some just different things that happen among different groups of people. This whole not being gay enough thing in relation to straight people is kind of weird to me because there are a lot of times when I feel like I have to sort of subdue what I'm feeling or thinking around straight people because then I'll feel like I'm too gay for some people, which again, ridiculous. And then they might just think I'm some stereotype and then they're just gonna be like, ew, gross, don't look at me, don't touch me, ew, stop. Which is just, it's awful to me because I know that like, you don't act a certain way to f enforce in stereotypes, it's just being you, so it's like, why should I be paranoid about that? Like, anytime I post something about a guy I find attractive on Twitter, like, I'm sitting there, like, in the back of my mind, even though I confidently posted it, and it seems like I was very confident about it, in the back of my mind, I am totally thinking, like, oh my god, how many of these people are judging me right now for being too gay? So because of that whole thing with the straight people and feeling like I'm too gay sometimes, I feel like I kind of end up subduing myself, and then I'm it's kind of forming my identity in a weird way so that when I interact with gay people it's like I'm suddenly not one of them because I'm not gay enough. And when it comes to gay people it's like again that whole checklist of things. If you don't look like this or talk like this or watch this or do this, I don't know. I don't know what that checklist is. Then you can't 
possibly be gay enough to be talking to other gay people, or you can't be gay enough to be pursuing and dating gay people because you're just not gay enough. But then it's weird because there's also this double standard about how so many gay men in the dating world are like, I just want masculine men only, and yeah. So it's like, I'm in this weird middle ground of like, I'm being myself, which may or may not seem gay enough or it might be too gay for you, but then I might not be good enough for some people that I might be attracted to because I'm suddenly too gay just for being myself. And I think what I hate about this whole concept of not being gay enough is it's not about sexuality at all, in my opinion. Being gay does not automatically make you feminine and it doesn't automatically make you like certain things that most other gay people do. And the fact that we have to start telling people that they're not gay enough for this or that you're too gay for me to like you, it's setting up this just this not so happy world of not accepting the diversity in an already secluded, marginalized group. The whole LGBT spectrum is already vastly different from the heteronormative, heterosexual society. And we're trying so hard for people to accept us and to say that, yeah, we might be a little different in some things, but we're still the same as you because we want sort of the same things, so you should just kind of accept us into the normal culture, whatever normal is. But at the same time, we're basically stabbing each other in the back by having some sort of like requirements for being in the gay club. And it's just dumb because even though I feel like this, which is the idea of being not gay enough, is absolutely absurd, I still feel in myself that I'm not gay enough to be friends with certain people, which thus makes me feel like I'm not good enough for friendship among my fellow gay people, thus kind of bringing down my self-esteem and making me feel like I don't deserve regular friendships like other people do. <sighs> but anyway, before I get too rambly about it, I'm gonna stop from there because I kind of organized my thoughts on a note and I don't know that I really stuck to it, but we're gonna go with what I already said. Let me know down in the comments what you feel of this whole not being gay enough concept. Personally, like I said, I don't feel like it's about sexuality and it's more like it's about judging people on their personal interests, but that's just me. I mean, I wanna know what you think. Do like the video if you liked it. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that what I'm doing is good stuff. Share this with your friends and your enemies and your pets and your family. I don't know. And subscribe if you'd like. I post new videos every Tuesday. And thank you for watching, and I will see y'all next week.